Hip hop started from the slums of the Bronx, New York. I fell in love with break beats, the techniques, b boying, MCing, crushing whoever was in front of you. It was groovy. You knew how it was. It's true, it's hip hop. It's only one source to get it. It's I Do It For Hip Hop Podcast. Subscribe, Google Play, iTunes, and DJ Buzzy215 SoundCloud. It's all about the hip hop. Keep it hip hop. What up, what up? It's your boy DJ Bugsy, Do It For Hip Hop Podcast, episode 84. And this is a special edition of the podcast. This is OnlyFans Fridays. And I have one of my favorite folks from Twitter. We've been talking on Twitter for the last three months about coming on a podcast. She booked a flight. She's a real one. You might have seen him before. If you haven't seen him before, I don't know where the fuck you've been because she's been around. It's the one and only Sin The Truth. Hooray, hooray, hooray. <laughs> oh, that's how you feel? <laughs> how are you? <laughs> I'm good. Put your headphones on. Oh, okay. Yeah, put your headphones on. So you can get the sound effects and the, the whole ambiance. Oh, all. I hear. Okay. I, I can you can hear, hear yourself? Yes. Okay, okay. So, Sin, now, listen, I know behind the scenes you wasn't trying to tell me where you was from. But I need to know before we start this interview. Seriously, I, I feel I feel that you're from the South. Mm, I'm just from around. You're not going to tell me? Hell no. What do you feel like if I'm you tell from me to give a this, place where killers get hung, okay? You're like, <laughs> what? So you talking, you talking damn, that's like Everybody Mississippi. Say the South. Everybody say the that South. when I say that. I'm but coming. that's where they get hung at. Look, who cares? I'm here to get these dicks. That's all that matter, okay? <laughs> I've been sitting here <laughs> to get, to conquer clean, tested dicks, a gazillion of them if I can. And that's real shit. <laughs> <laughs> who yeah. cares where I'm from? Fuck that. Fuck shit. that? Yeah, we trying to go, you know, mm-hmm. I'm trying to go around the world and um, conquer right. as many men as I, I, I can, period. That's your goal? Hell yeah. So how did you get started in the business? I want to know, how did you, when, when did it all start for you? When, because, cause you know, you go through high school and you, when did you get so infatuated with the, the sex game and dicks and I gotta conquer this man. I gotta take him out. I gotta take his soul. I gotta so I gotta get him. Like when did that come okay, to? Okay, I started. I only I got infatuated mm-hmm. mainly when bitches was coming for me, and that was when um I I start. No, I didn't like. It wasn't when I got started on Backpage because it was a little slow for me when I first got started. You know, it was. But, yeah, because why you think it was slow for because you? Because guys didn't think I was real. So that's why I'm infamous for holding up. My my signs like so they know like okay I, you know i call the number or right. she got these you know slut nation signs up so it's like okay yeah. this bitch is real you know right and but uh i got started uh mm-hmm. when i was like a teenager when i was 15 you got started at 15 yeah but I, I was on and off with it but i still i was in it so uh so who so do you remember your first client oh hell yeah i remember his name and everything what's his name his name was booker he was a dark skinned guy. Uh, probably what a fucking name that is. Booker, no bullshit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fucking <laughs> 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 Booker. <laughs> like, and how did he? So you? He didn't he, care. He was with a young, tender bitch. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I wasn't a virgin, but I wasn't. Who the fucking Booker? He wasn't. You know, it wasn't like my. <laughs> Yo, he man. wasn't like my 10th or 15th guy He was like, you know, right. like coming from like a virgin I wasn't, you know You uh, was a virgin I was, No, I wasn't a virgin But I was I was pretty fresh I was real fresh Okay mm-hmm. And he was older Very much so Like probably um, in his 40s Are you serious? Mm-hmm. So he was the R. Kelly before the R. Kelly Uh Yeah I guess <laughs> <laughs> But so did you have a body back then? Like what what do you no, think? No, I gravi- was a toothpick, honey. I was skinny, you know, my face was super young. But well, what do you think gravitated him to you? The um, freshness? It was no. Uh I met him through this mm-hmm. guy I was talking to. I met him through um the guy that I was talking to, mom. She put me on. Yeah. The mom? The mother, yeah. 
And Damn. ever since I've been How addicted. Did my mom put you on. She was shit, you know. She, she was, was like free she with was doing it. Huh? That, yeah, she was doing that. A couple guys that I dated when I was um mm -hmm. a teenager, um, they mother um was off into that. But wow. we didn't do only it, me and her. We mm -hmm. did it together. But that was we did it together like um once or twice. Okay, and that was it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's what that's when you said this is what I want to do. Oh yeah, it was the first. It was the money. You know what I'm saying? Because I did need the money. Because you did. I was going through a but hard she was time only as 15. a. I uh, know. I was. But why do you need the money? Because at I was going through a hard time as a teenager. I was. I had a. You know, shit was. I had going. I had had a lot of shit going on. So. Mm hmm. You did. Yeah. At, at 15. At 15. But you had parents. What you mean? I I had a a, a parent. Yeah, she was. You know. You she, just was talking to her. I know I was, but she was young herself. You know. So she had you young. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that. That played a part, you think? Oh yes, most definitely, most definitely. I grew up fast. Yep. Mm. Mm -hmm. And you don't have no kids. I only have one. He's he's an adult. Okay. Yep. He's in college. Okay. Prostitutes can have kids. That's productive. Just want to <laughs> let y'all know the motherfucker is productive. Okay. And he ain't no uh, he a computer guy. Okay. Just to put that out there, he's a computer guy. That motherfucker ain't touching no plumber, no HVAC, uh, school or nothing like that. Oh my God. Not to put that down, no shade, but I'm right. just saying he ain't about that life. He is right. not about no. That he about you know what I'm saying that tech shit computers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. But he knows what you do. Exactly, he does. Yeah, he ain't mad. Do he about ever it. be worried about you? I think when, when he was a uh, like a little kid, like when I'm, I was, you know, gone and traveling and shit, he was worried. You know. Now tell me about the dangers. Like tell the people about the danger or a situation where you thought you was gonna lose your life. Um, I'm gonna say when I was on back page. Uh, when mm -hmm. two niggas had uh busted my room and shit, it was um, yeah, um, they had busted my room. I just wanted to be. I want to also be clear with the men that go to my YouTube page that see mm -hmm. the video where I say uh why hoes say no black men because yeah why men, hoes say I always wanted to know that you about and to they tell, started yes they started tell. attacking me on YouTube. Uh, when I explained it and broke it down, you know what I'm saying. But you don't get mad at the messenger. I'm telling you what you know. You right. can't. We are. We at work. You not at our job. You right. know. But yeah. um, it's because um, bitches be getting robbed by a lot of black men, and pimps are infamous for scouting. You know what I'm saying, and scouring for hoes and shit. You know. Yeah. And so it, it be they don't be white. They be black. Okay. The ones that I've seen, it's been it's been like se it was like seven or eight uh, pimps that none came to me came to my room and they tell you after they fuck you after they gave you the money and shit like right. yeah i do what you do and be trying to recruit and shit like that and then it's also because that's the main thing the pimp thing you know they always trying to get bitches you know mm -hmm. and um the second thing is because bitches be getting robbed you know what i'm saying motherfucker you know what i'm saying fuck you or take your money back take the money mm -hmm. back you know what i'm saying or like you know stick your ass up you know for your for your money and shit so mm. um that's why they say no black men and i'm don't come for me right. um, when i'm explaining it to you and telling you i got on back page when uh, uh like in 2000 i believe 2013 mm -hmm. so it wasn't that long you know what i'm saying right. before it was all about to almost get shut down so yeah. i didn't know why they didn't say, why they said you know no black men i didn't know until you know um so how did you get out of that happening. situation with them two guys when they tried to break your door? I told him take the money back because he was going through my purse. I told him take the money back. It was a it was a some big fat ass nigga and it was a skinny guy. I had already fucked the skinny guy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Um. And I told um I just told him to take the money back. Right. You know. Right. So. I ain't like give a fuck, fuck. You know yeah. if, if you get held up Just You know what I'm saying just Like get take the money, money, money bitch. Right. You know what I'm saying Like It ain't know? that deep Uh huh And I did have bodyguards I had a slew of them While I was on back page And it was just this one time uh, Like I was in between bodyguards You gonna have You know mm -hmm. Have it where Like sometimes Your niggas your, your employees and shit Gonna be On some fuck shit And I paid good You know what I'm saying Right It be you know Attitudes You know they see that Revolving door They want They Mm -hmm. You know, they act like um yeah. like like you owe them more money when they ain't doing shit but sitting out in the fucking car or sitting in the next room next door to you. You know what I'm saying? Right. 
they ain't doing shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So they ain't, I feel like, you know, they shouldn't get shit more than like 125, 150, you know, per shift. Right. If I go out of town, you get 300 because I don't really go to sleep. Oh, you stay up all night. I I probably sleep like um for five four to five hours and I don't have to set no no clock. Mm. Mm-hmm. A pimp's and you motherfucking get- dream. <laughs> A pimp's motherfucking dream, but I work. I work. She said a pimp's motherfucking yeah. dream. She don't stop working. And so I, you sleep for four hours and then you get the dick. I be trying to get this motherfucking money. I do not be playing out here. I'm very serious, you know what I'm saying, about business. So I be trying to, you know what I'm saying, bitches be sleep. You know what I'm saying? I be trying to get this motherfucking money. Period. Yeah. Now, <laughs> now listen, it was a, you be saying some shit on Twitter that be fucking me up. Now, and people be unfollowing me and shit. You, I, I don't think y'all notice it, but they're like, I don't like all that goddamn talking and shit. They what was one, some of the things that you felt like? What are some of your pet peeves about being in the kind of business that you talk about on Twitter all the time? That like certain shit that gets on your fucking nerves, the do's and the do nots. Okay, so y'all listening to me tell y'all, right? You know what I'm saying? Shit that happens to us, right. fucked up shit. So we have protocol. We have shit and steps that you have to go through. You know what I'm saying? Okay. To get For to instance? the fucking watering hole. You have to fucking do what we fucking say. Bitches got they different shit. They different systems. Okay. Everybody don't have the same system. A lot of guys, a lot of men told me, like when they, when they get through it and they get through the door, they're like, I've never been through no shit like that in my life. The oh, shit you that take... I take, they go through the fucking, after that, they, okay, your deposit is one thing. Right, but. But you st- just because any motherfucker can give me some money and then still be on some bullshit. Now, I've had it happen. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker send you, you know what I'm saying, $100, $200, $50 or some shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And still don't fucking show up. You get them the fucking address and shit. Right. And they still don't fucking show up. Right. You know what I'm saying? Where we at, we we at a spot, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And motherfuckers, you don't, we don't know what the fuck you trying to do to us. Right. We don't, because shit happens to us. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. Don't even look at us Like we fucking people You know what I'm saying mm-hmm. So we have to Protect ourselves So right. my biggest pet peeve And that's why I don't like Taking new men um, I don't like Taking new men sometimes Because they get upset With me um, During the screening Or they don't understand They think that what The steps that I'm Taking them through I'm mm-hmm. gonna expose them To the internet And that's not it I'm not trying to fucking So what's your screening protocol what Hell you- no I can't tell you No shit like that That's my shit You know what I'm saying What so for That's <laughs> Like me telling like so what you looking for in a man? Well, I'm looking for a guy. I want to get married, so you're gonna tell me you want to get married so I can fuck, right? right exactly. Right. I'm not about to tell you and tell these <laughs> motherfuckers like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Son, like, oh, that's that's classified, nigga. You ain't getting that shit. Hell no. <laughs> she, she like hell you know, no. And, and then like a guy had mentioned, mm-hmm. you know my um my shit, you know my my screening process. Mm-hmm. In his um in the review he wrote about me, it was a great review. But I had to change my system up because he he said, put it out there. Yeah, but I don't think he was putting it out there to be malicious or anything. He was just like, you know, she's gonna, you know, you're gonna have to do this, and you're gonna have to do that, like right. motherfucker. Now I gotta switch this shit up because now motherfuckers, these you know uh, niggas that ain't serious, gonna try to, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Come in and tear my shit down what or whatever. A, what about celebrities? It was some niggas, you know, with verified pages that was in my um, DM. I, no, I don't expose me to get on, okay? Because I'm going to be sucking dick all my life. Motherfuckers going to gravitate to me and whatever. So I don't need, like, that. You know what I'm saying? I, right. Bitches do that shit, I think, for the exposure and shit like that. But uh, they, one football player, he got mm. upset with me when I was in Florida. I went okay. to Florida. But he wouldn't go through the screening process. Motherfucker, you could be playing too. Right. You know what I'm saying? Shit be happening. They be having court cases and all types of shit. They be fucking doing the bitches too. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck you trying to do to me. Right. And he was upset. He told me, he had went off on me in the DM to my son. You totally fucking ignore me. You ignore me. And this, that, and the other one. I was in Florida. Because okay. you, I'm not about to be talking to your ass all day and telling you, you know what I'm saying? Just here, come up to, come to this address. Dress. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers yeah. be on, can be on that. They be on that bullshit too. They be on that. Bitches be having problems with celebrities too. Okay. I but be, what's the most you got from a celebrity? What you mean? What, Money wise. 
I didn't get, I didn't, I ain't never really tricked with no celebrity. How, how much have I got from a man before? Fifteen thousand dollars. Oh my! And that God. was. Um, God damn, that's a lot of fucking money. Mm -hmm. Shit! Thank you. Yes. One night? No, it wasn't one night. I only sucked this dick about. No, no, no. Seriously, it was in one month. One month of work. Yeah, I sucked his dick. I was like, I'm look, I'm the type of person. I'm I'm being transparent here. I'm the type of motherfucker. Back then I was. Okay. Back then well, it wasn't that far, but right. I did not like I just want you know, I didn't like do like doing the fucking thing, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because I'm I can make niggas come, you know what I'm saying? Quick. With the hit knock them down, you know what I'm saying? So I did, I probably sucked this dick about uh, five or six and a half times. And I'm gonna say, I said a half because he was like, nah, bitch, you about to, we about to fuck. You know what I'm saying? I right, tried to, too much. I wasn't a great provider then, back then. But okay. now you read my reviews that, like, I want, you know, that was, that was just in the strip clubs. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you was that, in the strip clubs too? Hell yeah, I don't, shit. Atlanta? You know, no, no, no. Um, it was in Florida. I danced in Las Vegas and Arizona. Damn. So you, you had a moment where you was dancing. Yes, a long moment. When you I was a stripper, what was your stripper name? Sassy. Sassy. Sassy? Mm -hmm. And, then and the, when I first started out, it was lovely. Lovely, then mm -hmm. sassy. Yes. And then when did Sun the Truth come about? When that when was that born? Be, uh, when I was um, about to jump on um, Backpage, it, I called it um, my name Sin Central. It was Sin Central, like the core mm -hmm. of Sin. And then um, I had met somebody and um, they was like, you know, the truth, you know, seeing the truth, seeing the truth, you know. The way you do it is yeah. the truth. Right. But look, it, it was very fitting. A lot of guys tell me like when they come in, they be like, it's really fitting, like for who you are and what you do and everything like that and how you do it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, what about niggas that just can't get enough of the truth? Are you saying the truth? What uh, do you do with those guys? Well, it's guys. They tell me that they still want to see me after I retire. They, I'm like, what when do you retire, retire mean to you? Like retire? You know what I'm saying? Like you retire? When you retire? I just, I'm soon. just saying, not not soon, not soon, but like shit. Probably in a couple of years. Not in a couple of years. Not in a couple of years. But soon. Um, I don't want to. I just. I just. I'm not soon. Not no. soon. Mm -mm. But like this quarantine shit. Right. You know, yeah. How has that affected your hustle? Because I know. No, it ain't affected shit. It like, didn't. Bitch, mm -mm. What you mean? Mm -mm. Not my nasty ass. <laughs> not my nasty ass. Quarantine. No, but you Listen, wasn't. The coronavirus <laughs> has. Look, it has done a lot of fucked up shit. Okay. But if you ain't fucking leveling up during the coronavirus, you know what I'm saying, with different businesses or with whatever the fuck your craft is or whatever yeah. you need to be getting into and getting on your purpose, right? Then you just you just a lazy motherfucker. You know okay. what I'm saying? So yeah. I'm sort of th thankful for the coronavirus because it made me level up with the OnlyFans thing. Okay. And so now um, I'm uh, I've been making a couple, a few money moves like within the last even three days. Investment. Like, uh, no, well, sort yeah, yeah, okay. with Slut Nation, so it could be, you know, its own entity. You know what I'm saying? By um, itself. Right. Um, so that's what I'm doing right now because I want to just I want that to be bigger than my OnlyFans because I feel like OnlyFans they starting to have problems now. They are. What's the yeah. problem? Well, I don't want to go off into it because I don't need my right. fuckers that's looking at this shit, you know what I'm saying, to yeah. be trying shit, you know what I'm saying, with other okay. bitches. And it's just really, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So it right. got to me. So um, mm. it just started happening. It just started really happening now. Okay. And um, so I just, um, I had, um, you know, did some shit, you know, mm -hmm. to solidify um, Slut Nation because, okay. you know... Right. I just I don't need you know no extra bullshit. Okay. You know I don't need. So you don't really need OnlyFans. I don't really need them, but it is a wonderful platform. It is you know to fucking sure. work on. It's it's like it's really great. Look, I have like I'm I'm thankful you mm -hmm. know like so far as like with the coronavirus because. I've been um, doing great with OnlyFans. Really? Mm -hmm. and I How even, much like, a month? Um, About I don't know. An estimate. I don't know. All I know since, is well. Let me ask you this: How much since the quarantine? Just an estimate. You ain't got. I don't even know. What you mean you don't know? I haven't like really counted it. 
It's too much. <laughs> it's like it's it's I'm doing great. You good? I'm good. Better than uh, motherfucking mm-hmm. like I thought that you know we made more money than porn stars like bitches you know not porn stars i'm gonna say bitches that's doing that mini vids only fans all that shit i thought mm-hmm. prostitutes made more money right but honey mm-hmm. you know i could sit my ass down i could juggle my customers you know what i'm saying and mm. make my videos and shit post them and be doing i don't really i don't have don't, to fuck as long have to as a man have a fuck have his eyeball eyeballs planted in his fucking face mm-hmm. you're gonna be fucking making money in porn right and i get tired of hearing people saying shit like you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. um you know, porn don't make no money. That's like when you go, when you be riding under other people's umbrellas and shit. But yeah. all that independent shit, like when you like, you know, mini vids clips for sale and all that shit. Yeah. You're going to make your fucking money. You're going to get your money. Okay. If when you're you, independent. Yes. Right. You don't have to fucking ride under nobody's shit. If you ride under So what under advice somebody, would you give to someone that, that wants to get in the business? What advice would you give to a girl that's thinking about getting into the business? The porn or the prostitution? Both. Uh, hooking and hoeing, girl. <laughs> Bitch, it's something different every motherfucking day. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just really, shit just, just change. You know what I'm saying? You got to protect yourself. You got to protect yourself. Mm-hmm. And um, it's just a lot of shit that come with it. Just keep you a nigga. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Pay you a nigga. You going to have a slew of goddamn guys that you're going to be paying because niggas going to see your door revolving with all them dicks coming in and out. And they going to feel like 125, 150, 150 for X amount of hours ain't enough. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? going to act like they going to feel like, you know what I'm saying? You owe them more when they ain't doing shit and they probably ain't tough. You know what I'm saying? They probably one of them niggas that you, that just call the fucking police. You know what I'm saying? Some mm-hmm. shit. They probably won't even fucking do that shit. Make right. sure he tough because you, it, it's going to be times where a motherfucker's going to be tested. You know what I'm saying? Well, a motherfucker going to be tested and he, um, and you're going to see where that he made you've, been wa- you've been wasting your fucking 150. Right. You know what I'm saying? Or 300 goddamn dollars a night. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. And um, it's just a lot to come with with the game, but once yeah. you get um, once you get the hang of it, that it's, shit you be you know that hand over fist. I I wouldn't. I ain't knocking prostitution. I ain't knocking that shit because mm-hmm. uh, them tours like just you know touring right. and shit like that. Mm-hmm. That shit be um, like I I feel like I did better when Backpage died, but I don't know like when um, mm-hmm. I just feel like you know just me you know traveling and shit like that, and yeah. then with the coronavirus, I know I could be doing great touring right. because guys um, keep hitting me, hitting me Hit up, me and up. I don't want nobody breathing in my motherfucking face. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bitches throwing sale sale after sale and shit like. <laughs> Why they You know like During the coronavirus And I don't understand Why y'all doing that shit Because you don't have To do that shit Because right. if you The motherfucking truth bitch And how You know Me and You know They They know that With the coronavirus They can fucking die You know what I'm saying right. But they reaching out To your ass yeah. You know what I'm saying During a fucking pandemic So right. these motherfuckers Desperate to me Right You know what I'm saying That's what I see They keep fucking calling My, my whole phone mm-hmm. And Your I just know you can, Yes And I know <laughs> You, you can phone. make you know what I'm saying? Right. I, I know I can make a lot of money still with the, you know, the coronavirus, but I don't want to buy fucking breathing Breathe in my me. face. Right. But I've been, you know, strategizing and thinking of, of things that I can fucking do for where they not in my face. face. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, because even if you on your knees and shit, they still breathe and you can still, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that breath, you know what I'm saying? Coming down in your fucking face and shit, you know, and, all, and then it gets heavier and shit. It gets heavier. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, so, God. yeah. Oh my God, son! <laughs> and then I'm I'm just saying like with uh-huh. the, you know back to the thing like um with prostitution you just gotta really protect yourself and be witty full yeah. and you know um count your money mm-hmm. get your money up front bitch get your money up front I don't even like not getting my money up front if I've known a guy for a long time you I still don't like want it up front right I still want it up front but let me tell you um. The guys that I that you see on my OnlyFans, mm-hmm. no bullshit. But I'm not gonna keep doing this shit. But these men have been giving giving me my money. Um, after 
Like one even went to the ATM after. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I didn't. I wasn't like, oh, is he gonna come back up? Like, but just because somebody is your day one, don't mean he ain't gonna like, you know, try you and fuck try you, you over. over. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. uh, you know, lately, yeah. Okay. They look, it's kind of cool in here. You know, <laughs> like I got me my. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, but. Um, sin, sin, sin. And then what else? Um, OnlyFans, I'm just not getting into it. So yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I don't really know. All I know is because consistency is key. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Keep sucking sucking these dicks. Keep fucking or keep <laughs> fucking yourself. You know what I'm saying? Do your thing on your shit. Now, what, you what about woman to woman? Do you ever get into that? Yes, guys have bought me, brought me their um, Girl. wives. Their wives? wives. Their wives. And y'all all had the threesome. Yeah, but look, they wouldn't fucking, they didn't tell me. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. after read they fucking face you know what i'm saying i don't know you she don't even know that i'm a sex worker most right. of them don't know yeah and um uh how was that experience the threesome all of them i looked at all they women even if the woman was a bbw i swear to you all them bitches look good they look great their bodies look better than mine you know what i'm saying i'll be like what, what the fuck you coming to me for nigga you know what i'm saying <laughs> like i will look at them like this bitch is a nice looking <laughs> woman you know what i'm saying one bitch has sparkles on her pussy you know what i'm saying sparkles? like yeah, like some oh glitter and shit. She was beautiful. Beautiful BBW. And then the other ones was nice and slender. And he just watch y'all do y'all thing and then he no, joined. No, 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 no. Um, did she all, ever, did any wives get jealous of how you put it down? Let me tell you, I, I, I tone my shit down. I tone it you down. You dub it down? I, I have to dub it down. Why? Because you, you just it's gonna can't going to fuck up the like, money? I just don't want her to feel some type of way. I'm yeah. sorry. I have to. Get, but one guy, he came in my mouth and I like kind of tipped to the bathroom. I, yes, I did spit it out. He didn't have enough to swallow. OK, if y'all looking at this, like, why the fuck you ain't swallow it? You know what I'm saying? Me and B, you know what I'm saying? He ain't fucking pay for all that shit. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, and then he told her after that he, that he was oh done, God. and she was like, trying, she was questioning like, what? Like it looked like he didn't come, and right. he didn't, you know, what I'm saying he was just like, I'm ready to go, like you know. Right. But like when she saw, you know, how I was going in, then, she was trying to go in, but so I, I dubbed it down. Mm-hmm. That shit is crazy, son. But son, now what's next for you? Because I know. Things got canceled because of Corona, but then you started posting something about a future tour later on this year. I so just want to suck a lot of dicks on video, like you know. But I, you going on a tour, right? City video to city? tour. It said video tour. End of twenty twenty video, video tour. tour. Talk about that because we about to. End I'ma up. suck these dicks mm-hmm. on a video tour. Yes. And what's the cities you going to? I'ma go um, Chicago, Washington D.C., mm. Philly. Um, Tell them when you come to Philly So they'll know I don't know Look at my phone <laughs> I think it said November something I don't I, I don't glanced know. at it but. I hope I don't chicken out With this goddamn Corona shit yeah. God damn So when they come You gotta They gotta wear the mask And all Baby, that Baby right? I got their shields ready I got their mask ready I got all that shit ready <laughs> My phone ain't goddamn working In this motherfucker Don't worry about it all right, this Look, yeah, you don't gotta tell be, the date. You gonna just tell the cities that you won't be at. It's gonna Sh- be Chicago, Washington D.C., Philly, Philly mm-hmm. North. Uh, it's gonna be Raleigh, North Carolina. Okay. Um, I don't know if I put Norfolk on there. Okay, Norfolk, Virginia. Okay. Well, son, tell the people how they can follow you, how they can get with you. I really appreciate you, son. I really do I know we went back and forth In the text And I was getting on your nerves But Yeah it's getting on my nerves <laughs> But I still appreciate you And You gotta come back another day Okay Tell the people How they can get with you How they can Follow right now, you Right now Only fans and all that Give them okay, the whole scoop My only fans is Sin That's S-I-N-N mm-hmm. Da D-A T-R-U-T-H Okay so Sin Da Truth Or you can Um I have another one. It's my um, mm-hmm. premium page, um, and that's Slut Nation. Okay. Um, in case my Send a Truth Twitter gets shut down, you can always go to SlutNation.XXX. Okay. That's my website, and it will redirect you to um, mm-hmm. my new page. Okay. Or if anybody trying to fucking trick your ass, like, yeah, I'm Send a Truth, send some money, and I'm going to come see you. Call my well, right. I ain't gonna say call my phone. I can't say call my phone number, right? That's up to you. 
<laughs> so you. Like my voicemail will tell you right. that you know what I'm saying, where I am, if I'm seeing somebody, if I'm seeing y'all or not. Like okay. it's five one five seven four five eight two two nine. It never changed. That's five one five seven four five eight two two nine. It never changed. Because I am a good hoe And good hoes <laughs> See what happened with good hoes is Men depend on that phone number To never change A right. good hoe never change Changes. her fucking phone number okay? And a good hoe always wear what? Well, we wear we wear our heels, right? But I'm just saying, a good hoe never change her number. So <laughs> if you hear any fucking fucked up ass rumors about me, go look at my videos, and you are gonna see why these why these hoes mad, why that hoe mad. Okay, you gonna see. And is that why you turned off your replies? Because hoes be mad. No, I'm tired of like, and this is no diss to transsexuals, but transsexuals and cis women, real women. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm tired of them coming under my fucking post saying. Come and join my five dollar only fans and this and that. You know what I'm saying, bitch? Trying to ride the wave and shit, bitch. <laughs> bitch, I had to come up. I, I came up out here from scratch, okay? <laughs> scratch, bitch. Yes. Like pancake mix. Yes, I, I had to claw, keep like clawing my way to the top. Collard greens yes. and big macaroni. Hell yeah! So <laughs> fuck that, cheese. bitch. You ain't about to be advertising under my shit, right. you know. But um, I'm just saying, like, bitches be. When you are doing great in life right. And when bitch is not doing so good And look bitches can look nice You can have a, a badass body mm -hmm. Bitch makeup can be flawless and shit But behind closed doors When you get to that bitch Is she going to be like how she You know what I'm saying uh, Patrice Right from her Twitters From her Instagram right. And most likely the bitch ain't But you come to my motherfucking videos Send. Nigga that's what you gonna get You gonna get exactly that You gonna get exactly that And um, the only thing difference is I mean as hell on Twitter but in person I'm like that bitch on um coming to America he was like jump boop 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 that's how I am I ain't bullshitting like what do you want okay honey I wash your dick for you after we fuck I wash your hands and do all that shit my reviews oh my all my God. reviews corroborate each other <laughs> And I'm serious as a fucking heart attack. Oh my all my God. reviews, Sin. motherfucker, corroborate Sin. each other. If a bitch mad, she mad because she know that I'm going to get the bulk of them dicks, okay? Period. I always, <laughs> that's what I love about the internet. The, the internet, you know, you ain't in the titty yeah. bar where you got to be in the, oh the damn locker God. room with these bitches crying and whining about who's sucking the most dick. You know what I'm saying? Right. Them bitches can cry over there on their own page, you know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. And be putting me in fucking groups like, don't subscribe to her. Don't go to her. She's right. this and she's that. Mm -hmm. Don't fucking believe that shit because when you come and look at them videos, you going to be um, holding your dick, can't wait to 2021 or whatever date, you know what I'm saying? I pull up in your city. There you have it. It's Send the Truth. It's your boy DJ Bugsy, Only Fan Fridays edition, episode 84. Make sure you subscribe to Door for Hip Hop Podcast on all streaming platforms. Make sure you follow us at Door for Hip Hop Pod. It's your boy DJ Bugsy. Peace.